In this video, I am going to show you how to tell if your base chakra is imbalanced and what you can do about it. Hi, my name is Erin Sharwood and in this video today, I am going to show you how to tell if your base chakra is imbalanced. A lot of people don't even know that they have a base chakra. But in actual fact, it's very important to keep this chakra balanced because it is responsible for your physical health and vitality. So stay tuned and I'll show you just how to do that. Are you exhausted? Do you wake up exhausted? Do you have this overwhelming sense of lack of motivation? You are uninspired. Nothing gets you up off your butt because there's simply no energy to do so. I feel you. And let me guess, you're snapping at everyone around you. Now, I have a little hunch that this could be an imbalance in your base chakra. And guess what? There's something that we can do about it. Our base chakra connects us to our instincts. Our base chakra is the foundation of all of our chakra system and is the root, why it's also all called the root chakra, to our energy system. This is the chakra that is located at the base of the spine. This contains patterns from our families ancestral lineage and also our soul line this is what governs how our energy flows this is our health our finances our security and helps us really connect to earth energy one of the ways to evaluate your base chakra and to know whether it is either overactive or underactive is to ask yourself some questions. These questions just require a yes or no answer. And some of them are, do you exercise regularly? Do you move your body on a regular basis? Do you hoard things or do you regularly declutter? Is your health diet healthy and balanced? Um, are you comfortable embracing changes in your life? Do you feel good about your body? Do you often take time to spend out in nature? Do you take time out to relax and revitalize your own energy? Do you find it easy to stay focused on the tasks that you're on? Do you usually trust your instincts? And are you good at taking care of details? If you answered no more than three to four times, my guess is that you're a little imbalanced in the base chakra. So our chakras can be balanced, sorry, or imbalanced in two ways. We may have an excess of energy in that chakra, which results in our energy and our symptoms and behaviors being overactive, or we can have not enough energy pulsing through this chakra and which causes a weakness or a deficiency in our lives. So if you have an overactive base chakra, this means that um, you could be addicted to food or other substances. Physically, you may sh show signs of being overweight. Um, this weight can be leaving you physically and energetically lethargic and quite heavy. Um, you may be overly materialistic or focused on money. You can also be driven by greed, which is all about insecurity and around that survival. You could possibly also have this hoarding mentality and could be obsessive about routines. So you may also find that you dislike change or anything that upsets your sense of security and stability. An underactive base chakra shows that you are deficient in energy. Um, you may be underweight and ungrounded. You may even tend to live in this fantasy world, which makes it really hard for you to 
honor your commitments. You may be disorganized and lack boundaries as well. And you may be have a fearful or restless nature. Overall having like this lack of sense of security. Having a balanced space chakra will see you will see you comfortable in your own skin, will also see you having a healthy attitude to your body and possibly being in good health as well. You'll be well grounded and often spend time outdoors and you aren't really phased by things that don't go your way in life. Um, you'll be able to stand on your own two feet if things don't work out and you'll work through it. In general, if your base chakra is balanced, you are quite a stable person who is very in touch with your natural instincts. Okay, you ask, so what do I do about this? How do I balance my base chakra? Well, some of the ways that are really, really helpful for you to do so is to, one, get out in nature, ground your energy, Put your feet on the earth, hug a tree, get in that beautiful, beautiful fresh air, get some sunlight on your skin, feel the breeze in your hair and really connect. Listen to the bird song, surround yourself with your pets and your animals, like be really, really close to them and um, spend time with them. Also, there's other ways through physical activity, such as dance, through yoga, Massage is another great way and even as I said just simply going for a walk moving the body in a way that suits you. There's no point in doing it in a way that doesn't really align with you. It's really important to do what feels good for you. So that could be going for a walk, it could be doing dance, it could be doing yoga, it could be gardening, it could be playing a round of golf, it could be roller skating, just moving that body and getting that body moving. One of the principles of healing is all about movement. So when we are moving our body, we are reoxygenating our bloodstream, we are building energy from the inside out. And this helps with that base chakra. This helps to create a flow and to create movement and energy in this area and then to create balance. There are other ways to balance your chakra root chakra by wearing red, eating red foods, eating proteins, of course, getting outside, hugging a tree. Um, and there's oils and crystals that you can use as well. Oils that are great for the base chakra are cedarwood, patchouli and musk. And you can simply add a few drops to your bath. You can add it to an oil roller and roll it on your pulse points. You can also use it for massage and drop it in an oil diffuser. Crystals that are really good to use are hematite, garnet, bloodstone, onyx, and ruby. And these crystals can be placed on your base chakra. Um, you can use them for clearing, revitalizing, and healing. And you can even carry them in your bra, in your pocket, carry them with you during the day. There are five top tips for balancing your base chakra. The first one is to create a healthy, clean environment. The place where you spend most of your time should be clutter free, should feel good. You should have things in this environment that make you feel safe and supported and also secure, but they should also light the senses a little bit, have your favorite candles, crystals, you can have things, plants, indoor plants, things that make you feel really good. And a great way to ground your energy energy, sorry, is to bring those indoor plants inside. Tip two, get yourself a solid movement routine and cater it to something that you like. When we do things that we think we should do and we hate them, we're not going to do them for a very long time. So if you're feeling like you're forced that to go to the gym 
and it's not your jam, don't do it. Find something that feels really good and aligned for you. There are so many different ways we can incorporate movement. Obviously, I absolutely believe in dance and dance healing the body. But there's also yoga, golf, running, boxing, hiking, you name it. There's so many different ways and just choose what you feel like really aligns with you, something you'd like to do. And I'll also add for that, do it in a balanced way. Don't go overboard with it thinking, oh my God, I've got to exercise, exercise, exercise. Do it in a nice, balanced way that's going to nurture your body. This one goes without saying about eating well, nourishing the body, getting those healthy vitamins and minerals into the body, eating lots of different colors and really, really nourishing your body with good foods. Tip four is listening to your body. Your body tells you everything that you need to know and most of the time we're not listening. So it's really, really important for you to get in tune with your body, listen to what it's telling you and to take that on. If you feel like you're getting a bit of a scratchy throat, start to look after that. If you feel like you're getting a bit run down or an illness is coming on and you need to take a break, take a break. Don't slog yourself to the point of exhaustion where you just are out and there's no other choice. So listening to the body is an important key in keeping that base chakra balanced. And fifth tip is to limit your toxins. Limit the amount of toxins that you're putting into your body. This includes alcohol and drugs, but also toxins in the food you eat, chemicals in your cleaning products, and also the products that you put on your skin. So eliminating toxins from your environment is another important key.